Hey you guys, I don't even know why I just started recording this. This is the teacher, uh, episode 18. I had to skip 19 because I thought I was recording, but apparently I was not, honey. Well, I recorded it, but it didn't come out, you guys. So we're going to skip 17 and go straight to 18 this time. Um, After being in the jacuzzi for about an hour, we got dressed. What happened on 17? Oh, they finally went on any little date, like they date together or whatever, I guess you can say. Packed a few energy bars and went out into the snow. The weather was fine, cloudy and slightly snowing, but fine. It wasn't enough for us to give the weather forecast a second of thought. But we should have. I should have. Daryl mentioned we would get a lot of snow later. But how much snow would we get? I was about to find out. He looked like a goddamn pale ass vampire. I don't like him, you guys. But whatever. We walked for about an hour. And we started having trouble spotting the signs that marked the trail. A lot of snow had already fallen since we left it. Had started to cover up signs. And are you sure you want to keep going? Um, sure. Oh, come on, Daryl. Where's your wanderlust? <laughs> uh, don't you want to explore this place? Of course I do, but we need to stick to the trail, Mia. Uh, do you need a... Oh, wait. Do you see a sign anywhere? No. Put this on. Well, if there's any, uh, if there aren't any signs to follow, we gotta go our own way, right? Or go back and look for the sign. I'm not sure. Wait, I'm not out here to look at signs. I'm here to explore. I can go on without you, you know. You don't have to come with me. Well, I'm not leaving you alone. You know where there are wolves out here, right? Puh. They probably more scared of me than I of them. Besides, they're just a giant dog. Like this bitch is dumb. They're just like giant dogs. Bitch. Oh, okay, girl. And I'm a dog person, so they don't scare me. All right, girl. They're far from dogs, Mia. Far, bitch. Very, very. What? Okay, girl. <laughs> they're wild and depend on hunting to get food, honey. And they will drag your ass and you will be their meal, honey. Don't think they won't hurt you if you look vulnerable to them. You'd be an easy prey. What's with the scary stories? Can we just go? Fine, but it, if it starts to snow more, we'll turn around, okay? Fine. This is stupid. Let's go that way. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do the story anymore. It shouldn't piss me off. Some my fucking wolves are like fucking dogs. You fucking crazy. Come on, snail. Come away. Come on, you snail. I saw a fox. No way, a fox. Fine, I get it. No need to be rude. I'm coming down. Watch yourself, Miss Rose. It's icy. Ah, she fell, y'all. He was probably right. It was very icy, but of course I had already slipped. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It all honestly just felt like two friends hanging out. Damn. I slid all the way down the hill and crashed into Daryl like he was a bowling pin. <laughs> Sorry. But we only been exploring for about an hour and a half before we ran into trouble. Trouble that could have been avoided if I had just listened. The fuck is this? Fog or snow? Wow, that doesn't look good. The clouds are rolling in so fast. Uh, I think we should find a shelter in quickly. I think there's a storm coming. I, I thought you said it was only going to snow a lot. Well, a lot of snow and a lot of wind equals snowstorm, Mia. But 
but <laughs> that will make everything feel colder. No one mentioned the storm. <laughs> Just what I thought. No signal. Stay calm. Relax, Mia. Don't panic. Do you think the girls are safe? The girls are on the hotel ground, so if they haven't already been told to head back to the cabin, they will be soon. Don't worry about them. I'm sure they'll be fine. But we need to find shelter now. Let's go. Stay close to me. What have I gotten us into? We are very exposed out on that open space and we hadn't walked for long before the wind picked up and the snow got thicker. Before reaching the woods, it was already impossible to see seven feet ahead of us. Daryl, wait. We couldn't see anything. The icy snow, only the icy cold snow Whipping across my face felt like thousands of uh, stinging whips. Oh yeah, that's, that should be horrible. We had only walked for about 10 minutes, but I was out of breath, blinded, and scared. Just a little further, Mia. I think I see trees over there. Get behind me. He was right. There were trees, but they weren't for they weren't so close as we thought them to be. My feet felt numb, as did my lips, my nose, my ears, and fingers. I had a, a hand warmer in my pocket, so I clenched it tightly. It didn't do much, but it was a source of heat. We both needed that immensely. This was serious, but it was about to get a whole lot worse. I realized I couldn't see Daryl anymore. Oh, girl. Daryl? <laughs> no response. Daryl, she's screaming, honey. Mia? <laughs> it can't be. His voice was so far away from me. How could I lose him? How could he lose me? Daryl, where are you? Follow my voice, Mia. And I was about to, but then... Oh, bitch. Bam. Oh, girl, what happened, Mia? Okay, I just got off the phone with the spy department. They said they left hours ago, but di didn't Daryl say that they might go hiking at the words? Yeah, he did. I'm worried, Michelle. What should we do? Call the receptionist. I think we could call the reception and tell them that they are missing. Ouch. Where am I? Had I fallen through some rotten boards and down into something that looked like an old mine shaft? Oh, shit. It was about a 20 feet drop, which made me dislocate my shoulder and definitely sprain my ankle. Well, dislocated shoulder, honey, just pop that bitch back, back into place. Um, Look at the bright side. You didn't die. At least I found shelter, but Daryl's still out there. I've got to go find him. I've got to put my shoulder in place first. Ah, she screamed, honey. I heard that crack right there, baby. Yes. And just like that, popped back into my its socket. My ankle couldn't be helped, though. Ow, 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 damn it. <laughs> I needed to try and find my way out of this mine. It was so dark I had to use the flashlight on my phone. I knew it meant I'd probably use up all the battery, but I wasn't willing to risk falling down yet another mine shaft. I got lucky this time. The shaft couldn't have been deeper. Could have been deeper. Go ahead, girl. Okay, Mia, one step at a time. And then I called the reception. They contacted you. That's all I can tell you. Don't worry, girls. My guys and I are going to find them. But unfortunately, we had to wait until after the storm, well, until the storm has passed or at least calmed down a bit. Wait. But they could be dying out there. All we can do right now is hope they find sh a shelter. As much as we want to find them, we simply can't see anything out there. It's the worst 
April storm we've had in 40 years. Oh no. Um, do you have any idea how long it'll take for the storm to calm down? It looks like the storm is peaking now, so maybe two to three hours. What the fucking hours? Two to three hours, yes. But it's freezing outside and it's only getting colder. I'm sorry, girls. It's all we can do for now. I really wish we could do more. Oh no, I, I can't lose an... Oh wait, another person is what she was about to say? I know, you want... It's going to be okay, Kylie. They're, they're smart. They find shelter. I'm sure of it. My butt is on fleek, though. <laughs> Does this mind ever end? Jesus fucking Christ. And just as I said that, I noticed a few leaves blowing a few feet ahead of me. I drive. Maybe there's a way out. I limped as quickly as I could towards the draft, and just as I hoped, it was a way out of there. Oh, shit. But it was dark, cold, and even scarier out there than in mine. The storm had passed. It was still snowing, but at least now I didn't feel like knives were, penet were penetrating my skin. I decided to leave the, f the comfort of the mine and go look for Daryl. I prayed he was okay. Daryl, she called out. I called out to him with the last strength I had in my frozen and daily exhausted body. But he never replied. The only thing I could hear was wind, was the wind howling in the treetops. And then I heard it, a different kind of howl. Oh, bitch. Mm, wolves. Wolves, they're out there somewhere. Luckily for me, the one I just heard didn't sound so too close. But it was still enough to freak me out. Their words were now hunting me. They're far from dogs, Mia. They're wild and depend on hunting to get food. Don't think they won't hurt you if you look vulnerable to them. You'd be an easy prey. They're getting closer. I didn't have much battery left on my cell phone after I used it as a flashlight in the mine. I decided to try and save some, but it made my eyes play tricks on me. I thought I saw yellow eyes staring back at me from the bushes around me. My body was in a state of panic, which which undoubtedly was the only thing that kept me standing. I was so tired and I was so cold, my ankles sent a lightning bolt of pain all the way up my body. Every time I took a step, I was thirsty and hungry and I felt like my life was slipping away. Girl, you shit. I, I think you're being a bit dramatic. You felt like you're dying. You, you know, I couldn't yell anymore. My voice was gone. I had just lost the battle. I can't do this anymore. All right. 13 minutes, honey. Well, that was the end of that. Let's go on to 19, wise.